Dollar thirty Australian. One beer, not bad. Really? Yeah, really. I've had two. I might sit here all day, so if I drink ten of them, so thirteen dollars to get drunk. Twenty six dollars to be taken home by ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Today we'll have a look at one of our favourite spots in Pattaya, Siam Mini World. Very, very entertaining and well worth the money to get inside. A truly spectacular exhibition. This is interesting. 200 baht for foreigners. Okay. And if you have a Thai driver's license, it's 200 baht. Now the Thais are charged 120 baht. And the children, 60 baht. So if you've got a Thai driver's license, you can get in 100 baht cheaper at 200 baht. Amazing. Anyway, nice fountain. This is the Sydney Opera House from Australia. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Even got little people on the doorstep there on the, uh, what do you call them? Uh, stairs. Really good. Done well actually. Looks good. Let's go and see what's up here. Looks like the London Bridge coming up. Mini Siam was started as a research project in 1985 and construction started in 1986 with more than 11 acres of land which was separated as Mini Siam and Mini Europe. And I bet you all really wanted to know that didn't you? The Cologne Cathedral, Germany. A Roman Catholic Cathedral Church. Located in the city of Cologne, Germany. It is the largest Catholic church in Northern Europe and features immense twin towers that stand 515 feet or 157 meters tall. I think what they're trying to say is very, very high up. You wouldn't want to fall off it. Oh, this one you could fall off. It's only little. But I tell you what, they've done a wonderful job on this one. It looks really, really, uh, really well done. It, it looks almost real. The cathedral was designated a UNICEF World Heritage since 1996. And good heavens, doesn't it look amazing shrunk down to this size? The Tower Bridge is a suspension bridge in London. Built between 1886 and 1894, the bridge crosses the River Thames close to the Tower of London and has become an icon symbol of London. Because of this, Tower Bridge is sometimes confused with the London Bridge. The Trivoli Fountain. Italian, it's Fountain di Trivoli. How do I know that? I wouldn't have a clue, I read it. It's a fountain in Trivoli district in Rome, Italy and one of the most famous fountains in the world. The fountain has appeared in several notable films, including Roman Holiday, Federico Fellini's La Delphi Vita, I don't even know what that is, Three Coins in the Fountain, the Lizzie McGuire movie, Sabrina Goes to Rome, and Planet of the Apes. The place may refer to the love story of Neptune. There is a belief that any visitor who tosses a coin into the fountain will have a chance to visit the fountain again. Wow, how's that? Abu Sabil is an ancient temple complex. It was cut into a solid rock cliff located on the Nile River in southern Egypt. And what's next? All the way from Italy, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And this is where the selfies were invented. Everybody has done a selfie holding this tower up. And believe me, some of them have been very, very inventive. Well, just take a look at these ones. Amazing. Oh, look what we've got here. Roman Colosseum. The Colosseum, Rome's most popular attraction. Hundreds of years ago, a place to bring the whole family for a fun-filled day. 
The Colosseum could hold, it is estimated, between 50 to 80,000 specta bloodthirsty spectators. I think this is Greek ruins, I'm not sure, either Roman or Greek, but there's no plaque, so uh, I don't know what it is, really. St. Basil, uh, this cathedral is uh, in a red square in Moscow, in Russia. I've actually seen this one myself in Moscow. This is one of the most recognisable symbols of the country. It was built from the 1555 to 1561 on orders from Ivan the Terrible. Have a look at this, outstanding. The detail's very, very good on this one. Angkor Wat in Cambodia, I've actually been here. Such an amazing place, it's just incredible. When you get inside it, it's absolutely awesome. If you ever get a chance, go and see this. I've actually been twice, but this is a uh, good reproduction, but it's not all white, believe me. There you go, a bit of kissing business going on there. The Statue of Liberty always looking upon the American people. Yeah, the bonsai trees look fantastic. This is a wonderful, wonderful place to be. I tell you what, it's got some really nice uh, area and beautiful gardens. The only advice I'd give to anybody that's coming here is to uh, bring some water with you because it can get very, very hot out in the open. Because uh, there's not much... There's trees around, but there's not much uh, shade, and you're walking out in the heat, in the open, open sun. So be aware of that. Bring a hat with you or whatnot. But uh, very, very nice, beautiful place to be. Actually, you can walk around for ages around here. You can. There's little canteens around too. You can sit down and have a, a meal uh, at reasonable prices, and um, have a have a beer if you like. Take a look at that. Beautiful. Dedicated to Asia, I guess. All the different things in Asia. Yeah, good. Now, there's, there's plenty to do here. You, you can spend quite a few hours here. Yeah, the, the uh, at, they've got one at night as well. It um, starts at night time. Take take a look at that Egyptian. Uh, wonderful, isn't it? Mm. There's at night time they they turn on the lights and um, it's supposed to be spectacular. Uh, it's it's too too long for us to wait we have to go home but look at that isn't that wonderful mm. miniaturized everything gotta give them that they, they have done a wonderful job of it brilliant actually but it does need a little bit of maintenance done I, I, I think it's been open for quite a few years as I said before and uh, it does need a sort of a what, what would you call it a upgrade of things a um, little bit of money spent here and there on maintenance get a load of this really really nice Fantastic. Very relaxing here, I tell you. Have a look at the detail in this one here. This is in Bangkok, uh, something to do with the king. I, I can't remember the name of the place offhand. It's got no plaque on it as well. In English, it's the uh, Marble Throne Hall. Have a look at that though. Wow. The detail's incredible. Temple of Dawn, Wat Uran. It's situated on the west bank of the Chapraya River in Bangkok. It's easily one of the most stunningest temples in Bangkok. I've been to it many times. Uh, and we've passed it actually in the river cruises on the Chapraya River. It looks wonderful at night. And this would be ruins from Utia, just outside of Bangkok, about an hour's drive, and. And the other ones look like they're from Sukhothai on the way to northern Thailand. Yeah, Sukhothai and Yutia ancient ruins. This temple is commonly known as the Temple of the Emerald Buddha, regarded as the most sacred Buddha temple in Thailand. The Emerald Buddha housed in this temple is carved from a single block of fine jade. How's that? This uh, miniature reproduction looks quite spectacular. Very well done. Tell you what, it can get very hot out here in the sun. Yeah, have a look at that. Um, look at the gardens, beautiful. 
They certainly put a lot of work into maintaining this place. I'd, I'd hate to pay the gardener's bill. Wow, there's a lot of them. Look at that, fantastic. Well, there you go. That's Siam Mini World in Papia. Well worth a visit if you're in the area. I kid you not. It's well worth the money and a brilliant day out. It's a little bit hot in the open sun, but uh, make sure you take a drink with you. But nonetheless, it's a fantastic place to be. There you go, Siam Mini World, where you can be a monster among the little buildings. You can have a first-hand experience how King Kong felt.